Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Now these are exciting times, and I feel like now we have power, progress is really picking up. Today I need to work out how to get more materials though, to build complex machines, so I think a quarry is currently the best way of mining a large area automatically. That means I need to build a system for piping materials from the quarry to my storehouse, and it's a great excuse to use Myrtle Ebony planks on creating the building for a quarry. So, what are we going to build today? I wanted to leave the space next to the existing wheat field to fill up with extra multi-farm fields of other crops that we want to grow. But this space opposite and next to the animal pens is just screaming to be built on. Plus I could tidy up that mess above where the zombie spawner was. But then I remembered that I wanted the quarry to be near the power source and also the storehouse. So the area directly behind the storehouse was the perfect place. So I started to dig out the area using a shovel, tidying up areas where I exposed underground cave with the odd bit of dirt and removing that awkward tree. I dug down deeper away from the storehouse because I wanted a kind of lean out structure with a walkway to a tower that would dig into the earth. Now a quarry looks really ugly if it's on the surface, but if you bury it just a block or two beneath the surface, you can hide all that, un all that ugly rubbish and also create a massive underground cavern as well. So I built this tower out of scaffolding and then created the wooden roof you see here out of traditional oak using ebony planks as platforms. But I didn't like it, it felt too see-through, so I came back and removed all the scaffolding and replaced the corners with myrtle logs. Then put the fences and posts to hold up the canopy on the walkway and returned to the tower to add ebony platforms that we'd walk upon. And the final touch for the quarry tower was that it dug down into the ground, so I dug down a couple of levels and repeated the pattern there, and then I used a tower of scaffolding built into the tower which we'd use as a kind of makeshift ladder to get us up and down from the bottom and top levels. And there you see that going up at the back of the tower. And there we are, now you can see the canopy built over the walkway and the roof of the quarry with the myrtle ebony wood planks as platforms and the scaffolding ladder. And I can't wait to get a quarry in and start mining for materials. Okay, so I finally found a use for this myrtle ebony wood and these wooden planks. Now come down here and check this out and I'll show you in a bit more depth how we're gonna do this. Now basically, this digs down really deep. So we're gonna have our quarry, our massive quarry underground. And then it's gonna pipe all the materials that it mines back up here up into the storehouse and inside the storehouse is where it's going to get filtered and sorted into its separate chests and then we're going to organize everything that we get into different compartments. Now I'm just going to go and go mining because I need a few things before I actually place my quarry, namely diamonds for one. So I'm going to have a quick sleep, make it day and then research exactly what it is I need to build my quarry. Oh, another glorious day, right okay so let's open up the uh, not enough items menu and find out what it is we need to make our quarry. Okay, so quarry. Right now, to make a quarry, we will need... Okay, two golden gears, two diamond gears. How do we make a diamond gear? Oh my god, four diamonds per diamond gear. So we need, oh, let's see. Four, let's see, four, eight diamonds, a diamond pick. Now, luckily, I've still got my diamond pick. It's not quite full, and I hope that doesn't matter. I hope I, I, hope I can use a half-used pick. But I also need redstone. Gold isn't a problem. I do have plenty of gold ore, redstone, and iron gears. So the main thing we need is diamonds, and a lot of them. Now, that, that's quite alarming, because I thought we only needed... Oh, no, I've, I've actually used up my diamond pick, so I might have to get three more diamonds as well. Okay, that means we're mining for a massive amount of diamonds. So we're going to go straight, straight now, underground, get some of this good stuff, get some of this blue diamond. We've already got one in our chest in the storehouse, so we only actually need... Oh, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11. We only need 10 diamonds, but that's still a hell of a lot of diamonds to find. So, less talking and more mining. Right, so we're back down to this spot where we found the obsidian, 
and the diamond before. And I think if I probably, if I strip mine, oh, I'll get, I'll get this coal while I'm here. Now, if I strip mine at this level, I can probably find myself a nice healthy amount of diamonds. Actually, on second thoughts, strip mining, oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, stuff up here. Oh, this, oh, no, oh, no, careful, careful, careful. Oh, no, I need cobblestone, quick, quick, quick. I don't want to burn, I don't want to burn, I don't want to burn, I don't want to burn. Whoo. Okay, that was close. Now, there's lava over there. Now, if you look at the mini-map, we can actually see that there are some tunnels around here already. So if I just dig around, I should be able to find these tunnels and dig into these canals. Okay, I'm too close to lava here, so I'm going to go spelunking instead, I think. Oh, what's this black stuff? Oh, could this be... Is this... Oh, it is tungsten. Oh, super rare. And it, if I remember rightly, it doesn't actually have a use, or it didn't in tech it. I wonder if it has a use yet in Yogcraft. That's curious. I'll have to have... Well, I can check right now, can't I? Tungsten. Tung. How do you spell that? T-U-N-G. Weird, it's not appearing. So tungsten ore still doesn't exist. So I can't find out what, what, what use it has. That's weird. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just get this sulfur. Because that comes in handy when creating gunpowder. Which we all actually need if you want to make some more ammo for our shotgun. Which, to be honest, I really do. Because the shotgun is a great weapon to defend yourself with. So if anybody comes around trying to steal my crops or mess with my, uh, mess with my animals, I can give them the one-two with the old shotgun. And they'll think twice about coming back. Now, it'd be pretty easy to get what I need just from Sips. I could go all the way back there and just take, because we've got like about three or four stacks of diamonds. I could go and pinch 10 or 7, 10 or 12 diamonds, but you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go all the way back to Sips Co, because what if Sips sees me? What, and what if he makes me do some more work? No, to hell with that. I'm going to stick with my farm, and I'm going to find the diamonds I need right here in this very own mine that I built myself. Oh, nice. Secret compartment. Let's see what's the Oh, coal up here. Let's see what's in this secret, secret chamber. Anything cool? Any cool loot? Oh, silver. Oh, nice. And this cavern really sprawls out. Ooh, glowing ore. That's pretty cool. Oh, gold. The good stuff. Iron. Always comes in handy. Always got a use for iron. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful cavern here. Get so much loot here, but I'll get this, get this vis stuff first. These shards. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, wow. It's, it's a chasm. I found a chasm. Ah, oh, sweet. At the bottom of this is sure to be plenty of diamonds, but I will have to be careful because creepers spawning higher up in the chasm can fall down, blow you up, and totally ruin your day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a waypoint here because my thormium pick is getting very low. My diamond sword is getting even lower. But what I want is maybe to make some sapphire picks, some emerald picks, and some... Um, some ruby picks, since those are gemstones that I can use to make tools. But also, what I want to look into, which is something I've never used before, are anvils and enchanting tables. I've never really kind of looked into those, and I think I can enchant my thormium pick twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go topside and create a small room for an anvil and an... Oh, and I'll put them in, I'll put them in my barn, actually. I'll put an enchanting table down and an anvil down, and we'll look into getting enchanted and repairing my tools. But for the time being, I'll just go into M, go to Waypoints, and add a waypoint here, new waypoint, and we'll call it Cool Chasm. Here we go. And the color will be, oh wow, look at all those colors. That's that's crazy. Look at that rainbow. We're going to call, call it an orange. It's an orange chasm. There we go. And Cool Chasm. Awesome. Now it's time to get topside and create an anvil and an enchanting table. Ah, another glorious morning. The sun, the sun has risen, and the monsters are hiding again. And oh yeah, look, you can see. Wow, it's all, it's always really cool to check to put waypoints when you find somewhere cool. And then when you get topside back to where you are, you realise how far you went from your farm, in which direction, and where like the cool stuff that was underground actually is. And, and this cool chasm is actually quite close to our orchards, and that's really cool. Oh, you can see the light beam up in the sky as well. Now most of the time I hide these waypoints just so it's less, a little bit less ugly. So I'll do that right now. And now it's time to build an anvil and an enchanting table and put them in our barn. Now, I know how enchanting tables work. You put lots of bookshelves around them, and then you just right-click them and, and enchant your stuff, right? So how do we make 
An anvil. I've never made one of these before. An anvil. What's this? Slightly damaged anvil. Very damaged. Okay, we want just a normal anvil. Ah. Oh, wow. We need loads of blocks of iron and iron ingots. Okay, so we're going to need just lots of iron ingots. Luckily, I think I've got lots and lots of iron ore inside my storehouse. So I'll go there and I'll grab that up right now. Take that mutton out of the, out of the furnace. Now I'll put some... Uh, have I got any coal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got some coal. There's some coal. And I'll put the iron ore in there to smelt away. Now, 43 iron ingots. Now, you need nine to make a block of iron. So, let's see. I think you need... Oh, was it three blocks of iron, was it? Let's try that. In fact, let's check right now. Ah, uh, yeah, three blocks of iron and four ingots. So, we should have that right now. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, yeah, and there's the anvil. Ah, oh, sweet stuff. So, now let's go and put this in the barn. So I'll put down the anvil right here in the corner. Oh, beautiful stuff. And let's right click. Now, how does this work? Okay, so I've had a look into the anvil and how repairing works. Now, I put an item in the left, and then I put some materials in the right that are involved in making the item on the left, and it gives me an enchantment cost for repairing the item. Now, because I've got no thormium, no enchants on this thormium pickaxe, it actually costs, let's see, three thormium ingots and three enchantment levels three levels to repair my Thormium pickaxe fully. Now, since I haven't got any enchantments on there, there's no point in me doing that because I can just make a fresh pickaxe with three ingots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, the crafting bench and just make myself a new Thormium pick with these three bars. And then I'm going to make an enchanting table to enchant it and we'll see what we get. All right, there we go. Brand new Thormium pick. Oh, great stuff. Now it's time to make an enchantment table. Okay, so I'll put the enchantment table right next to the anvil, but how do I make one of these things? Let's take a look. Enchant, and there we go, enchantment table. Now I will need, oh, oh my god, two diamonds, and four obsidian, and a book. And the enchantment table itself needs to be by a bunch of bookshelves. Okay, well I've only got one diamond, so what I'm going to have to do is use this thormium pick, go back into the mine, and get busy mining some more materials. So let's go. Night falls, and that's a perfect time to jump into the mine, because it's dark down there anyway. Oh, the chasm. Here we are. Yeah, lovely. Now, fingers crossed, there should be a diamond down there on the bottom level. So let's give it a go. Take a look. Oh, whoa! Oh, yes! Oh, the mother load! Diamond, 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 emerald. Oh, this is it. Oh, get out of my way, zombie. You can't come between me and my diamonds. Not now. Not ever. Oh, this is, the, this is it. This is the sweet stuff right here. Oh, lovely. How much is that? Oh, one? Oh, two? 4 4 5 diamonds. Oh my god. Oh, this is it right here. This is the mother load, guys. Oh, I'm super rich. Get this emerald too. Trade with some villagers. Get this diamond over here as well. Oh, two diamonds. Oh. How many diamond is that? Oh, and lapis as well. Oh, this is amazing. An amazing haul. Let's just get rid of some of this string, some of these spider eyes. Actually, I can't have picked up the other diamond either, actually. Let me just jump back down in there, get all that good stuff. Oh, I remember this, actually. I've been here. I used the, uh, the the mud to clear away this lava, and that's when I got my first diamond. Oh, wow. And I've come all the way back here. Well, okay, I'm going to go topside now and use these diamonds to make myself an enchanting table and hopefully get some bookshelves in there to jazz up the barn. Six diamonds are oh, beautiful. So I'll put two in here or rather all of them in here, and I'll use these other two to make the enchanting table. Oh, now I've forgotten that I also need obsidian. And I don't think I've got any obsidian left in building materials. Nope, I haven't, so I'm going to have to go back down to the mine and get some more obsidian. But luckily, there was plenty by that cool chasm waypoint. Right, so I have now six obsidian, which should be plenty. I'll also need the two diamonds, and what was the last thing that I need for the enchanting table? Let's see. Oh, of course, a book. And I make a book with leather. Oh, no, I need leather? Oh, that's going to be super hard to make now, then. Luckily, I've got lots of leather. Actually, what am I talking about? I've got a cow farm. 
Leather's easy to get. All right. So let's go and... Uh, so let's go and make a book and make this enchanting table. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, actually, that said, paper might be a bit tricky to get because I'm not sure I've got any sugar cane. And I think you would just put sugar cane in the crafting table to get to get paper. But I don't think I've got any reeds or anything like that at all. Now let's check food and agriculture. I've got 12 sugar cane, so that might be enough for enough paper to make a book. Let's try it. But I don't want to use all of this because, let's see. There we go. Ah, oh, three pages makes one book. And where's the leather? That should also be in... Where are we? Food and agriculture. There we go. One leather. So we'll just plonk the leather. The three pages. And bam, a book. Then we put two diamonds, one either side. Obsidian in the bottom. And the middle. And oh yeah, an enchanting table. Ah, oh, sweet. Right, now I'll go and put this in the barn. And then we can think about getting books. All right, now I have to future-proof myself a little bit with this enchantment table because when I put it down, I need to surround it with books. So if I put it, ooh, let's say about there, I think that's plenty of space to put around it bookshelves that will feed it knowledge. Now, if I put my thumbcraft pick in here, yeah, the only books, the only levels, the only enchantments that I've got are like level two, three, and four. Now, if I put loads of bookshelves around this thing, I think the enchantment level, the, the level of enchants that I can get go up. So let's take a look at what I need to make bookshelves. Book. There we go. Bookshelf. So if I press R on that. Oh man, so I need three books per shelf, which means I need, oh, let's say one, two, three sugar canes per bookshelf. And I'm going to need about, oh, 20 bookshelves. So what I'm going to need to do now is build myself a sugar cane farm. So I'll go and make myself a stone shovel and start setting out a place where I can build sugarcane. Oh, what color wood am I going to use for the fences? I'm going to try, I'm going to, oh, why not use mahogany wood? Let's just christen this bad boy. Throw it in the bench right here. And there we go. Oh, oh, oh mahogany planks. Perfect. Now I'll turn these into sticks. Oh, wait, no. How do I make mahogany fence? I've totally forgotten. Mahog... And to make mahogany fence, I just make, oh, right, that's right, yeah, an N shape of wood. So if I just put it there, 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 and there, oh, and I'll make, like, oh, I think, probably need a few more than 32. 48 should be enough. That combined with the wood and the shovel, and now I'll go and dig out an area to build my sugarcane farm. Now, I think, actually, right here, next to the animal pens, is the perfect place to do this. Right, so I've dug out these channels. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the sugar cane be in the middle. I'm just going to do the edges with mahogany wood. And then what I'm going to do is have trenches of water, but then I'm going to use wooden half blocks on top of the water. And what that will do is it will mean that I can climb over the water to get to the sugar canes without disrupting them and keep the water underneath. And that should give the sugar canes plenty of water so they can grow properly. Right, so that's all the sugar canes I've got for the moment, but I'll have to come back here once these have grown, cut off the top layers, and then put even more down, and hopefully we should have a functioning sugar cane farm happening right here, right next to the animal pens. I can also kill my cows there to get some more leather if I need it. So I've been Stin, and this has been Feed the World, and today we've been looking at getting a quarry done. We built the quarry housing, and we've got, got some minerals and materials that we'll need to build the quarry. Next episode, hopefully, we'll have enough diamonds to build the actual quarry unit. But that's all for this episode of Feed the World. I've been Stin, and thanks for watching. Hit like and favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.